Today I'm going to show you how to set up Restream to stream to all the favourite platforms all at once, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitch and Mixer. Oh wait. Hi, I'm Sai and welcome to my channel. I provide quality tech reviews for DJs and producers. I basically spend all the time figuring out all this technology so you don't have to. Restream.io is a great platform which allows you to stream to multiple channels all at once and all for free. Setup is pretty straightforward and you can get to all the major platforms. I'm going to assume that you've already set up your DJ stream. Um, if you haven't, please check out the box up here or I'll put the link in the description. So first let's go to Restream.io. I'm going to log in but obviously you're going to have to sign up. That will take us here and you can see I've got Facebook, this is Mixcloud Live, YouTube and Twitch already set up. I'll remove this Twitch one so that I can show you how to add it yourself. Let's click add channel. As you can see here we've got a load of different platforms which we can stream to. Choose the ones you want to add so let's add the Twitch one, connect Twitch, let it load a bit and then we click authorize. Let it do its thing and as you can see that now appears here. Simple right? So what we're going to want to do is jump over to OBS and take these settings here and put them into OBS. So first of all let's take this URL here, we'll go back to OBS, settings, stream and we're going to want to put that onto custom. We're going to paste our URL there, go back to here, copy this stream key, pop that there, click apply and that's it. Streaming to Mixcloud Live is actually slightly different and there's going to be a couple of extra steps. Let's go back into Restream now and I'll show you why. So if we go to add channel here, you'll see that there's no actual Restream available. And that means we're going to have to add it as a custom RTMP. If I click that now, you'll see that it's actually a premium feature which I'm no longer paying for. So if I click on this plans and pricing to show you, this is what you get for free. 30 plus platforms at once, um, one per platform basically, so you can't have like two Facebook Lives. To get them custom RTMP, you have to pay $19 a month, which is quite a lot actually um, for what I'm doing, so I didn't think it was worth it, so that's why I've cancelled the subscription. So how do we set that up? I'll just pop back to here, and you can see that uh, luckily I've still got this one available from when I had it set up before. And if I click that and go to edit settings, it basically asks for the same information from down here except for Mixcloud Live. So we need to get the RTMP URL. So let's go to Mixcloud Live. I'll set up a new live stream by going broadcast live here. We'll put any old name. We're not actually going to go live. Then we'll copy that. That's always the same. So you can just, you know, copy it. I'll put it in the description if you want. Then let's go back, grab the stream key and we'll pop it into here. Click save. Now we've got Facebook. Mixcloud Live, YouTube and Twitch all set up. That's it, Restream should now be set up. All you need to do now is click streaming and Restream will start sending all your stream to all the channels which you told it to. Hey guys, I'm just gonna interrupt the tutorial quickly. If you're liking my vids and find them useful, please hit like and subscribe and also that notification bell. I'm trying to aim for a thousand subscribers now, so we've got quite a long way to go. But yeah, if you could do that, that'd really help me out. Cheers. A quick note. It's probably worth doing some extensive testing before you click stream. It might even be an idea to set up fake accounts to test this out. Depending on how many subscribers you've got, the last thing you want to do is start streaming all your tests out to your followers and annoying them and getting them to unsubscribe. Luckily, I didn't have that problem as I've got no subscribers. Feels bad. I've seen Jazzy Jeff stream to multiple platforms all together with no problems at all. So it can be done. Obviously Jeff has built a big following in the past and he can send people over to these platforms already from his current social media. And I don't know how many issues he has with copyright strikes and things like that. I've got a feeling he's got a bit more clout so he can probably reach out to these platforms and get them removed potentially. I don't know, <laughs> it'd be cool to find out whether or not his team's going through those kind of issues or not. I thought one final thing worth mentioning about Restream before ending this video was the analytics. You can see all the views you've been getting from each platform while streaming all in one place on the analytics tab, which is really handy. As you can see, Mixcloud has no data which is the main platform which I've actually been streaming to. As of August 2020, Mixcloud still haven't made analytic data available, and that's actually an issue with the Mixcloud platform, not the Restream one. Please don't make fun of my stats. I know it's slightly embarrassing, but as I say, 
my most my viewers are actually on Mixcloud and they're not showing up. So that's it guys, that's how to set up Restream and whether or not I think it's worth it for a DJ at the moment. For more streaming tips, click here. And if you want some equipment tutorials, click here. Peace and carrot, y'all.